G'day, welcome to episode two of Elders TV. Uh, today I just want to take you through what the main two things, the most two important things when it comes to selling your home and probably the most two important points is why your home won't sell, more importantly. So those two points are one, the selling price and two, how well your property has been marketed. So first we'll talk about selling price. So the selling price of your home basically comes down to what a buyer is willing to pay for it. It doesn't have anything to do with how much you paid for it, how much you need, whether you've got a mortgage and you need X amount to pay the mortgage off or whether you've got a, another property you're looking to, looking to purchase and you need X amount to be able to get that. I mean, in, in, a, in a perfect world, um, you know, hopefully you would get those things. And at the end of the day, you do want to be able to get the most for your property as you possibly can, and that's what we're here to help you do. But at the end of the day, it's basically the selling price is set by the market and what the market is willing to pay for that property. So this is, by, this is why pricing your, of your property correctly from the start is so important. So as you can see, if you price it correctly, you're going to get roughly 60% of the active buyers out there that are in your price range will come and look at your property. If you're 10% above what the market thinks your property is worth, you're going to lose half of them. So you're only going to have 30% of the active buyers come and look at it. If you're 15% above, you're going to lose most of the market. You're only going to get 10% of that active market come and have a look at it. So it's imperative that you get that selling price correct from the start. Here's an example. I've blurred some of the details out just so um, that people don't get offended. This property went on the market in Mount Gambia. 31st of March 2012, brand new home, sold for $569,000. Recently sold again on the 21st of June 2017, sold for $440,000. So that, I mean, this this is extreme, but that, that property made a loss of $126,000 um, over 15 years. And as you can see, between 2012... And, and now the property's been on the market for over 12 months over that period. They've had a couple of goes at selling it and obviously just hasn't, haven't listened to the market. They haven't adjusted their price and they've, they've obviously paid the price of that. So you've got to make sure you get that price right from the start. One way you can do that is to get onto realestate.com.au and find properties that are similar to yours now you have to be a little bit careful because what realestate.com.au doesn't tell you is how long a property has been on the market for. So you could find a comparable property to yours, say, well, mine's the same, same amount of bedrooms, same amount of bathrooms, a similar area. Um, that's listed at 450 I reckon I should get 450 for my home. Well, not always because that house could have been on the market for two years at 450000 so you have to be a little bit careful there. But once again, your agent will guide you through this process and they're the experts. Uh, so make sure you listen. Second part of it is marketing. Now, if you don't market your home properly or don't market your home at all, then you're not going to get the eyeball seeing. The more people, real estate's a numbers game, the more people you can get to look at a property, the more chance you've got of, it, 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 it's got of selling and the quicker it will sell. So marketing is imperative. So at the end of the day, don't be tight on marketing. I mean, be frugal and know where your marketing dollars are going and make sure your marketing is targeted. But don't say, well, I don't want to pay for marketing because at the end of the day, if you don't pay for marketing, and people aren't seeing your property, then six months down the track, your agent's going to come back to you and say, I think we need a price drop. 
and your price drop might be 5,000, might be 10,000, might be 30,000. But if you had to spend 1,500, 2,000, 3,000 on marketing up front, then your property might already be sold and you've just put all that money back in your pocket. All right, thanks for that. We'll see you next time.